Hello everyone, welcome to the stream, and we are checking out Inkbound. The early access version of the game just dropped today, and I am so excited for this. Like it says in the title, this is my personal most anticipated game of 2023. I don't think it's going to actually fully release this year, but it's still highly anticipated. And this is from the makers of Monster Train. I did play a lot of the demo, really, really enjoyed this game a ton. Let's jump into it and see what we can get going. I apologize if there's... Uh, if you can hear my kids in the background occasionally during this stream, it is um, a long weekend here in Canada. And I'm still a little under the weather too, by the way, guys. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, you cannot enter, cannot change name, public physical. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Tom versus everything? Everything. Okay, fine. Fine. Limit me. It's going to be Tom versus everything. Every tang, every tang. <laughs> Tom versus every tang. Because everything doesn't fit. All right, let's see how this uh, how this is going to play out. Of an inky expanse, the sea of ink. In the dark ahead of you, a speck blinks a light and pulses as you move deeper into the void. All right, okay. I did play some of, like I said, I played the demo quite a bit, so I have a I have a fairly good understanding of a lot of the systems in this game. Well. The glowing mode of light blinks more brightly with your approach. As you reach to touch it, it inscribes strange glyphs into the air. Some unknown language. I love that I love a game that has narration. I really do. Everything I, I liked I liked Embrace everything about this game. Embrace the light? Rewards? What's this? Unlocks access to the Athenium. That's like the main hub for the game. To search, growing brighter and brighter until all you can see is light. And then, gone. A moment later, it blinks a light by your side. Bound to you. All right. We got this little, uh, our little, our little uh, thing floating around with us. So I threw them into the sea and said, "That's how you raise a child." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the one, Nib. It's Nib and Bin. Bin, the poor soul, is a needless. Jack Skeleton. You know as well as I that they are unable to speak or to bind. But they've bound a new quill. Author knows they don't like those needless very much, so something has to be going on. That makes no sense. These stories have been fading long before more quills started showing up. Best leave the needless to fall right back into the sea where they came. Aww, why don't we at least let them choose their aspect and forms first? It'd be a shame to not even see what they choose to be. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with these three characters. I'm unsure how many characters there are in the game. Moss, Cloak. I mean, I have a little bit of experience with them all at this point. This one in the demo could be massively overpowered. I mean, you can get them all kind of bust. Um, Select an aspect. I do really like the Weaver. The Weaver is a lot of fun. I'm going to stick with the Weaver. I, it was my favorite character in the in the demo, so that's what I'm going to start with. An artisan. With the power to spin magical threads, control the battlefield, and let combat become your work of art. And it shows like some of our abilities here. And we can pick our... There's a little bit of a character customization. Skin tone? Um... What color do we want to be? What color? 
color of a weaver do I want to be? A green weaver? And then you can play with it a little bit more even if you want. Bright green. Bright green. What kind of hair are we going to have? Um, Goku hair? <laughs> Give him some Goku hair. Let's go with... Ooh, Afro. Let's see here. Let's do... Oh, fine. You know what? We'll go... I don't know what I want to... I, I, this is the hardest decision in the game. We'll go Goku here. That's what I'm calling it, anyway. A little bit of yellow there. Accent color? And make it the exact same. That looks good to me. Base paint. Let's go with... Well, that looks funny. <laughs> I guess I have to do... I have, no, these are just character presets. Right, 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 right. Those look really cool, though. You pick a couple different kinds of face paint, I guess. So let's uh, let's do. Kind of like that. Kind of like that one. Well, what color do I want now? White actually looks not bad. Now you can position it as well, right? We can put more in there. Oh. Ah. You can get really funky. Look at that. Look at us go. Oh no, not that one. No thanks. No thanks. How do I remove you? Zero. Let's roll with this. All right. Now we're going to go in here. Normal battle. All right, all right, all right. Um versus every tang. Quick little tutorial. your turn the enemies are showing what they plan to do on their turn uh during your turn you can freely move try moving uh, to the shining spot good now try moving to the other glowing spot moving consumes a resource called will it won't deplete until you use an ability you have a limited amount of will to use each turn. The unraveled are trying to destroy this world. Move near this enemy to prepare an attack. Get wrecked. If I had to move the other way, I could hit them both at the same time. Findings also consume will, attack the enemies, and use up the remainder of your will. Bind them both. And then we'll constrict them. Why I did that, I don't know. Enemy turn. The enemy uh, attack during their turn. You'll need to watch your health. That's fine. That's down here. A blue glowing orb spawned at the start of your turn. You can collect 
these to reduce binding cooldowns and restore will. Try clicking it now. Well done! Use what you've learned to defeat the enemies. Get wrecked. You needless. I am the chosen one. Like you're not dead yet, so that's a good sign. And the form you chose is wonderful. Yes, you mm, yes. will. Quite unusual. It seems the ink has plans for you. Oh, yes, it does. You've already performed bindings and everything. Quite the spectacle it was. Hmm, yes. A needless and a binder. Well, the guardian ahead will not be as kind. Should you defeat it, perhaps you and your quill truly are fated for something grander than the sea. Or not. Roll. Such doubters. Guardian of the Void. So we're gonna get smacked hard here. It's what you're telling. This is what you're telling me. I'm gonna get smacked. I like that it shows you like the health that you're gonna lose down here, not just like numbers, but it also shows you on your health bar. Beep. Now I could get out. Can't get out. <gasps> I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit, man. Okay. It's gonna take me a little bit to remember. It's been it's been a minute since I played. Power orb. Nah, I'm good. Get smacked. I take zero damage there. Hell yeah. Constrict. Do I go for it? Yep, give him another tug. One damage? I can take one damage. No worries. Uh, deal 25 damage to a threaded enemy for each thread you have. I mean, that might be okay. Oops, I went the wrong way. Try it. I hit him hard. So you're still threaded. Give you a little thread. You're almost done, buddy. You're almost done. Is that what that just throw uh oh it does inflict damage. Might as well do it. Critical hits. Your binding has gained a crit oh, okay, this is different. Crit or at least I never saw it before. Uh critical hit chance to gain this charge indicated by the flame surrounding them. They will do bonus damage equal to your critical hit damage stat. Cool. I think we're gonna do you uh, uh, do you in here, bud. I think that's it. All right, let's go talk to to Nib and Bin. Well, it seems you're a binder of some strength, though you will continue to find these anomalies spread throughout our worlds. They're taking all the ink away from us, making our stories fade away. Bad little unraveled. For now, though, it's time you leave this place and venture to the Athenium, the center and stronghold for all these worlds. Off we go. They don't like us much in there, so best if we say our goodbyes for now. But don't you worry, we'll see you soon. The ink is not yet finished with you, Needless. 
Your form is young and still without purpose, but trust in your quill and you may just find it. I trust the quill. I'm going to play this on, on here. This is going to be like one of my main games, I think. Probably, most likely. Um, this is very likely going to be a main focus for me for a period of time. Because I really, really like this game. Without even having played like this version of it fully yet, I, I, I just love this game. Packed with emptiness, but full of stories. A massive clock of books and gears looms above the expanse, ticking, ticking, ticking away. People running around already. From the countless black depths, damp breezes moan to life and stir the pages strewn about the rubble. Your quill urges you deeper into the cavernous space. All right. Uh, speak to the gatekeeper. Oh, that's you. Arthur be damned. Another Arthur be damned. All you needless just traipse in here, still damp from the sea from which you crawled. I thought that surely the ink bound had created you with more sense than that. Surprise me. Well, you're in the Athenium now, needless. And no binder worth their words is going to give you unfettered access to our stories without a proper approving. A short dive into the inkwell should give us a good idea of you. And at the very least, knock a little sense into that empty head. This guy. This guy. What's this? We get a reward, Tiny Heart Stone. On your turn, restore one HP. It appears and runs after completing the quest. Okay. Try not to drown too quickly. It'll be just fine. You got nice looking stuff. You're cool looking. There's all kinds of NPCs and stuff that unlock too as you play through. I don't know. I think you probably have to do a couple runs to really get them going. The deep well. You peer down the well, but only find an open darkness swallowed by an endless deep. If you strain to listen, you believe you can hear the faint rumble of rushing liquid. Everybody's playing Weaver. <laughs> There's like. From what I've seen so far in this in this lobby, there's like five weavers for one of everything else. They probably nerfed the hell out of it before it went live. Uh, create an inkwell portal at the Athenium. This. Let's have a walk around though. Shenanigans. What's all this? Listen. The shelves are lined with books of all sizes and materials. Gilded leather tomes stamped with dry facts of history. Feathery parchments filled with flowery script. Poetry ready to evaporate with a stiff breath. But all of them share the same sickness. Their pages are faded. The words within them becoming shadows of a memory of a story. Get in the lore. All that sweet, sweet, juicy lore. All right, well, let's go do the thing. It wants me to do that, but what's this? The source of the ticking. A giant wheel of books and gears which all paths lead to. The heart of the Athenian. Don't you touch that bindery, Needless, or your next dive into the inkwell will be your last. If even one book shifts out of place, the worlds to which you travel might collapse entirely. Not a heart, then. A brain. All right. It's thirsty for some ink. 
And there is a chat. I just don't do chat in these types of games usually. But maybe eventually play with people. Um, so what, we gotta do a dive, right? Do a ranked dive, do an unranked dive. Let's do an unranked dive to start. Game tip, hold alt to see all attack regions at once. All right. Scribe. Ah, another needless. Always a welcome sight to see another one of you running around our world. You are the ones doing the hard work after all. Oh, the Inkbound is trying, I'm sure. But you are the ones actually fighting those villains. Nasty creatures. But you'll see that soon enough. Oh, and you can call me the Scribe. The Scribe. But honestly, it's best you keep our meeting or wait, you keep our meeting between us. Uh, yeah, okay. I, for whatever reason, I can't read properly. I'll blame it on still being sick. As you approach the edge of the sea of ink, your quill. So we're like we're gonna have things like this. Not everything's fully narrated yet. Your quill picks up the trails of stolen ink, tinged with the scent of the creatures that guard it. Your quill urges you to choose one of these trails. Follow it and reclaim the ink guarded by the foe waiting at the end. Okay. Um, visit the carver three times. Spend 750 quillings. Fully augment three bindings. I probably spend 750 quillings. <laughs> That's probably doable. I think I can spend money. Superior vault. All right, here we go. So this is like our relics. On your turn, if your ability power is zero, gain one will. On hitting, inflict one stack of bleed. Ooh, that might be okay. Plus one magic power. I do like that. On defeating an enemy, 25% chance to gain one will. Um, I'm going to take this. Take that. And then a common augment. Dude, the reason I kind of thought I'd go burn was you could do this, right? You can put stacks burn on everything. Um, on your turn, inflict one stack of frostbite to enemies with threaded. I'm going to go burn. This is inflict a stack of frostbite and a stack of burn. Two stacks of burn. Do it. All right, now what? Now we pick our area, right? Blighted branches and the venge wood. Blackened bugs. Dark drag travelers into the dark embrace for of the venge wood. Proving grounds, the old training grounds for new binders. Now with extra danger. The garden's edge, the once lush respite of a recluse now overrun with unraveled. Um Go, Benchwood. I don't really care. I'm just happy to be playing. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Such a beautiful game. Potion supply? So these weren't very... Uh, you couldn't get many potions and stuff going in, in the demo, it felt like. Um, so maybe there'll be more stuff laying around. Left click to consume, uh, gain 20 shield and 10 spike. That could be really good, actually. You get money out of this stuff if you bust it. Give you some quillings. A putrid place of rot and decay. Once a lush respite from the business of the Athenian that's since been reduced to waste. If any story should serve as a herald of things to come from this blight, this vengeful is sure it. All right. Common augment um, with the vault, quilling cage. I'm going to go here. Hey, thanks for stopping in and saying hi, fat man. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day, buddy.
Well, let's get some of these dudes linked up, shall we? Probably enough to actually kill these dudes if I do this. I don't really want to take that damage, though. Do it. Oh. Hey, Shiro, just listen while you sweep. No worries. My range on this. Not long enough. Damn it. Um, go over here, go over here, go over here. Clink, clink. Gimme, gimme. Um, this isn't going to be enough to kill these dudes. Can I get out of the range, maybe? Live to fight another day? Hey, 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 hey. Nope. <laughs> like, get me out of here. I still have to learn all that, like the range moves and stuff. I guess I could have done the damage. I'm just learning, right? We're learning. But this guy's got to die. These dudes gotta die. All right, let's let's link you up. This is enough of that shenanigans. Now, if I do this, it's not gonna kill you. That's a problem. It hurt you though. It hurt you. Run. Still like, uh, okay, fine. You know what? Left click. Consume. Everybody just die, okay? Everybody just die. Come on over. Hit me. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Everybody die. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. It's been a long time since I played the demo, so it's going to take me a little bit of getting uh, used to again. Hey, -oh. first win for the good guys. Give me those quillings. We need them. I got to spend 750 quillings. What type of game is this? Uh, it's like a... Oh, man. It's got... It's got... A, it's a few different things. All wrapped in one. Um, It's kind of... It's going to be a live service game. So, like... I mean, they list it as an MMO, to be honest. Um, It's also a roguelike. It's a co-op game. It's like got some deck building kind of in there in a way. Kind of. Almost. Not so much deck building, I guess I shouldn't say. What's it listed as? Tactical RPG, turn-based tactics, and it has an MMO like vibe to it too, right? So, yeah, but it, it's also considered like a, a roguelike. Uh, restore HP? No, we don't want that. Frostbite damage? Frostbite damage might be okay. Maybe I go a little bit leaning into the frostbite. Stat upgrades. You just increase your stats. Open the stat screen by pressing the button on your menu bar. Or Z. You know what? I never ever did. I never ever looked at stats like hardly at all when I played the demo of this. So I don't know if you ever played Monster Train Fat Man, but that's who made this game. The guy, the the team that made that. So now we got like a little bit of frostbite damage. So maybe we end up going to a frostbitey build, a magical frostbite build. We'll see. Okay, we get an augment. Um. Potent Stitch. I mean, just adding more damage to this is kind of nice, even. Yeah, add damage to that. 
you can only add three augments on each ability you see here like we've added an augment there and an augment here so they filled in those little spots Grove of Bindings, gain a powerful new binding or ascend one. Fishing spot. Hey, it's got fishing in it. Eskatarian Delight. You gotta fish. I like to use it. And using one will provide powerful boons and la that last until the end of the next combat. So we can carry a potion, a key, a fish, two up to two of them, right? Uh, on being hit, 50% chance to inflict Hex, or 50% chance to inflict Shattered. Ooh. That's when you finish school, finally. Zip Binding Tuner. Let's see, if it's got fishing, does it have a dog we can pet? Well, good stuff, Fat Man. Um, oh man. I mean, I've done well with shock. I've done well with poison. Like, you can't, like, I mean. Poison can be just, like, insanely busted. Well, let's take poison for fun or at least it used to be i'm sure they've changed a ton since the demo i mean they added fishing another quilling cage i could do that take another quilling cage gimme 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 Um, do I want to do this? You know what? I'm going to do it. Because I feel like I usually, like, when I was playing the demo anyway, a lot of the times, I wouldn't use these as much as I should. And I'd be passing stuff up, so let's just use them. Hey there. You look mean. You look really mean. Yeah, you do. So what's this do deals 11 damage in a moderate area around you inflict 30 stacks of poison gonna hit that dude it's gonna hit all those dudes enjoy your 30 stacks of poison not enough to kill them though on this turn definitely want to link up to you I don't like this guy. What, what's this ability? Snaring strike. On hitting, inflicts ensnare, reducing movement until the end of their turn. I went the wrong way. Okay, now those guys are going to die. Let's hit this one. Do that. Nah, let's do this. Take him out. Run! Fine. You can hit me. This guy's almost done. That poison damage. I hit two. Come on. Oh, you got me ensnared, you bugger. Yeah, I'm taking care of this guy. You're dead. Get out of here. Safety. It's kind of weird the way that it works. Like, if I'm in there, I guess to take more damage. I don't really know, like... 
exactly how it works or maybe that's like you'll burn one if you leave that ring and you burn another when you get outside of it i don't know we'll figure it out anyway let them roll at me now i just got a bunch of these little little dudes to take care of poison enjoy i'm still eating like a ton of damage that's so weird to me. Like they're just gonna roll in and hit me even though like I ran that far away. That's so weird. I have to I have to learn that. In the demo, you could easily evade a lot of damage. This doesn't seem like you can as much. <laughs> but like you could easily walk away from everything. Uh, more spike damage now. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Well, I mean, maybe. Crit damage. Also, you're probably not supposed to beat things on your first run. Like, beat everything, so it is what it is. Restore 8 HP. Do it. Inflict a plus three stacks of poison? Poison. I mean, I could do this. We're doing this, though. I'm sure they've nerfed some of that stuff. Gain a free binding augment and the capability to purchase another... Computer time? Within the ruins, your quill senses a forgotten power for you to harness. A rift in the story creates an opportunity for you to make a powerful choice. I'm going to go here just because I want to try some different stuff out. Sea Breach. Within the breach, you see the fabled mirror of glamour said to grant the viewer whatever it wants most. But this mirror has led to the happiness of few and the demise of many. For whatever you are given that you want, you are also given a gift much darker. Still, you peer into the mirror and gaze at your reflection. <laughs> um, so that's crit. Realistically, none of these are what I really want, is it? Not like crazy. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take true sight, I guess. Just for fun. Just for the lulls. Uh, we're almost dead, so we aren't going to do the tough, tough fight. Because we'll even probably die here. Beginneth the combat. These little guys are such a pain in the butt. They're the worst. Like, they have, like, infinite range. <laughs> this guy. This guy drops monies, I think, if you take them out. Treasure pot. But you only get two turns, and it gets out of here. Poison. I'm still eating a ton of damage. I don't understand. I'm st I don't understand how you're supposed to avoid any damage. <laughs> Impossible. Everything's weird. The combat phase is a little bit funky. That's my main thing, is like... They've... Like, I'm dead. They've made it... Like, it's it's incredibly difficult to avoid taking damage. That's what I have to learn. But we're dead. Because, like, guys can literally just chase you down... Hunt you down and take you out. But in the demo, you were able to get away 
from enemy damage. This doesn't seem like you can as well, so I'm going to have to learn that. Like, you were able to actually run away from some damage. But that's fine, because we're literally just, like, starting out, right? That was my, my, that was my first game. Um... Also, they may have nerfed the Weaver right into the ground so that, like, because the Weaver was so OP. Um, so it's going to be like, it's like a live service game, so it's going to have seasons and stuff in it, guys. Lots of different stuff to do in it. Quests, one quest available. I'm probably going to have stuff available to me when we leave here, right? Return home. Yeah, unfortunately, we played Mechabellum last night. I really, really enjoyed it. But it has music in it that is... It's always the same company. It's kind of like a scam almost, the way that they do their copyright. It is what it is, though. Game companies keep on using music that they they don't know for sure won't get nailed by copyright, and I can't cover the games. So we at least can turn... We did that. We did do our thing. In well before the sea takes us, be grateful the inkbound places more faith in you than do I. This guy's throwing shade. Since you've decided to return, you'll find a few more of us that remain here. The unraveled left us thin in numbers. We scattered after, <clears throat> well, uh, but many have begun to return. You were made to serve, needless. So, meet the other binders of the Athenium and help them in whatever meager ways you can. All right. We get Valmark. On your first turn, if you are above half HP, gain three physical power until the end of combat. And it comes with plus two. Hurry, then. Meet the counselor. I can do that. That over here. In the demo, I had all this stuff like unlocked, everything done. Are you the counselor? Stigmatist? Needless, eh? Well, welcome. Been told not to say much to you, Needless. Better go talk to the gatekeeper over there. Oh, well, you're not the person I wanted to speak to, are you? That's just like, yeah, I think you can go in there and change the way your character looks. You hear muffled words and papers shuffling from behind the massive door. But when you reach to enter, the handle remains still and the door holds firm. Yeah, that never opened. The study never opened in the demo. more of us counselors that is and everyone else i guess but just me now we well just me now make the rules around here more like laws i guess it's a bit complicated mostly it just means that i record things that people do other people <laughs> which reminds me i've got a list of specific things i need done on the board behind me changes day to day like a bounty but board nice don't mind, that's cool Cool. Daily tasks. So this is new. Heal damage. Beat the guardians. Collaborative quests. So that's if you're in a party, right? Playing with other people. Because there's a co-op thing. Neat. Wait, do I have to actually accept them? Or are they just immediately there? Oh, they're just there. Okay. Meet the stigmatist. All right, I've already been there once. We'll go back. Well, it's nice to be back again so fast. <laughs> Even if the place is a wreck. But the sight of all you needless buzzing around does give me a bit of hope. 
surprised to hear we aren't as gruff as Grumpy Beard, huh? Well, sometimes a little youth goes a long way. You can call me the stigmatist. Perhaps woman of forms and acts. I'm gonna play this game a lot, guys. Like it's gonna be something that I cover a ton. I'm your gal. Though it looks like you've got a solid one already. Unless it's got copyright music in it, then no. <laughs> but if you ever do want to switch it up, go ahead and use that aspect apparatus over there. Got a couple other aspects for you to try out if you're feeling up to it. Realistically, I've only ever had that happen three times since I started making content, and I've covered, like, probably nearly 200 games. And I've only ever had the thing happen, like, a couple times. I hear passing pages and manic mutters behind the door. Candlelight flickers at the bottom of the door frame. You knock on the door, and immediately the muttering stops. Then, shadows shuffle across the flickering light before it goes dark. As you turn to leave, you hear a rustling on the floor, a note with nothing but a list of tasks, none of them small. You got a note, probably with more quests. Go talk to the gatekeeper again. Ignored by the inkbound? Well, that's no real surprise. Your presence is at least known now. But that does not mean that there is any more hope for the larger threat to us all. All right, so we can get the Valmark unlocked. I can tell by your vacant expression that you've no clue who this Inkbound is. I have no clue what I'm doing. Our chosen hero, not one bit. Our fearless leader and most trusted protector, our savior. I kind of want to go back to. I kind of want to go to the class that uses the hammer. That's what I want. I want to use the hammer time. That. Temporary victory. The inkbound toils away at a more permanent solution to these unraveled and arcane stories. Regrettably, there is still work to be done. Thus, your creation. The garden's edge currently fades fastest. Your attention should be focused there to reclaim its ink. All right, so we gotta do garden's edge. Nim's Oath on hitting inflict dazed twice per turn. Oh, okay, that sounds good. So there's a lot to unlock in this game, aspect apparatus. So this is where we could change our class. They're of course gonna have more classes. We probably I guess we can unlock these throughout. And it looks like they're planning to have up to 10 different classes. But yeah, like we could go the Magma Miner. Let's try it for fun. Um, seven available quests. Holy crap, we have a lot of quests, don't we? Um, enter gardens, enter the garden's edge. We'll, we'll go there. I'll do another unranked. I'll eventually just only do rank dives. Because why the hell not? I think ranked is just slightly harder. I can smell the ink on you, Needless. Busy cleaning up the messes of all the other other less responsible binders I gather. The ink bound, oh yes. Their mess their mess much more than others, I suppose. Not that they'd be one to ever own that burden. There's stuff laying around here. I feel like occasionally there is stuff like just chilling in the corners of the map here. Build 25,000 damage. Fully augment three bindings. This is the carver. You know what? We're going to do this. We'll do the damage. Terror of the Inky Depths. Argoleth. 
I have way too many roguelikes, otherwise I'd play this one. I'm with you, Vibes. I'm with you. I hope you're doing well. This is just one that I've, like, been waiting for. Are you going through Dead Estate? I was playing Dead Estate the other day, actually. I keep thinking that I want to make content for Dead Estate. I have a really good relationship with the with the publisher of that game. He's a really, really good guy. And uh, I just never really played it a ton, but I was playing it the other day and I had a blast with it. So I'm, you never know. I might, I might do... It, it would be easy for me to do runs of that game, like videos. Because it's not a super, super long game, which I like. I do like ones that aren't incredibly, like, long. <laughs> Um, Steel Brella on you on using a physical bind and gain one shield twice per turn. I'm gonna take that. But this just entered early access, right? So this is one that like maybe you know it's probably gonna be in early access for like a year. You know, people can jump in when they when they get a chance. When they when they clear up their their whole uh, backlog. I don't want to just do this. Strength and Smash, just like go heavy, heavy, heavy damage. I'm gonna do it. Just, just go crazy. Big, big Smash. Alright, so we're gonna go to the area that it didn't give me. <laughs> um, Silent Promenade. I don't think I ever beat that area in the regular game. Like, in the demo, I mean. Let's go Proving Grounds. Never played that one. Never played that game. There's so many. I've been sick for like a week almost now. So I've been like kind of trying to catch up on things. Let's go here. Common Augment, Tarnished Vault. I think I need a key for a vault, but I, I don't know. We'll see. One thing that's kind of cool is that a lot of the new uh, new games in the genre and the roguelike genre are kind of going into, the, like, not all of them, but there's a lot that are leaning into co-op, which is cool. Like, I'll be able to play some of these games with viewers and stuff eventually. I think that's kind of neat. So, this still isn't going to kill you. Herein lies my problem. What do you got left, bud? 55? Fine. I'll take the damage. You're running away from me, eh? Oh, you're, you're gonna die. Right? Yeah, you're dead. Leap Strike. So I can grab this Power Orb. Can I take you out? I can't take you out. You suck. I can do another Leap Strike, though, maybe. If I hit you twice, though. You know what? Let's, uh... Pop. Bop. Hey, no damage taken. Maybe I just suck with the Weaver now. Maybe I just suck with the Weaver. I'm giving you the big bops, man. Yeah, so I'm still gonna get some. Some guys just have that ranged attack. It's like they're gonna hit you no matter what. Okay. I just have to get used to that. Learn who's going to do what to me kind of thing. Max Mac. That was a good fight. 
the vault. Gain two will on first turn. On losing all shield. Wait. On losing all shield to damage, smite all enemies. Deal 50 magic damage to an enemy? Huh. Huh. What about this? Deed of flame plus five burn damage. I think I'll take that. On collecting an orb, inflict three stacks of burn to the nearest enemy. Sold. Um. What about spiky damage? About that. Um, an augment. Let's keep making our, our smash bigger. Let's do... I want to do... That. I'm just going to keep making that strong. 210 damage now. <laughs> we're, wait, we're, we're almost, we're, we're almost through a thousand damage. Binding tuner. Um, we just took a thing that gives us more spike in damage. Cone of Frost, deal 20 damage in a cone, inflict 4 stacks of Frostbite. Mmm. Let me take this. What's this do? Inflict Hex and Shatter on all enemies? So this just does it like and it's done, okay. Um, let's keep doing this. Let's go Tarnish Vault again. Collecting my few dollars that are laying around here. It all adds up. A dollar's a dollar. Now you, I don't th think I'm going to be able to kill you. You would drop me money, though. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about the greed yet. I'm not good enough at the game. Worry about the greed. Yield up. They can hit me, it's fine. Spitting. Yeah, I'm not even, it's 25% of its HP. It drops a little bit of cash. I'm not worried about it. Um, go in here. I wiped that dude out. That's good. Yeah, these guys are, these guys are a problem. Hit it. Xed and shattered. Received 30%. Oh, that's okay. A little bit of extra. A little bit of extra for you. There you go. All right. Now let's jump over here. Wipe that dude out. Give you a smuck. And then we're going to pop this. In four shield. Get some spiky uh, damage out there. All right, all right. Um, smack. Damn it, you're not dead. There we go. Um. Oh, 
Why is that chat up there? Why is that chat up there? I didn't I haven't seen a single thing come up there. I don't want chat on the side of my thing at all. Can I turn that off? You're gonna have to try and turn that off. I don't want it there at all. People are idiots and I don't like having chat showing up on my screen. If people would just be decent, then it'd be okay. Um Chance to gain a critical charge. Um, that could be okay. On your first turn, gain five sacks of evasive. Ooh, be all right. I gotta take this thing. Not very good, but we'll take it. Can we uh, go into settings and turn off the thing completely? Of course not. I don't want to see anything with people talking in my on my screen. There's got to be a way to do it. More spike damage. Yeah, I feel like it's not a necessary thing, like, in in games that much. It's usually just used for trolling and stuff. It's not really, like, a valuable thing to me. I have no interest in what other people are saying in there. Unless I was playing with friends. Like, if it's, like, a party chat and it's just, like, people you're specifically playing with. I don't care who's in the server. <laughs> <laughs> on, on hitting uh extracting bonk i just like the name of it on hitting 10 percent chances oh i do like that Take. i like getting the points the things out um heal and spend some i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take the heal i think Spend some quillings sure go heal Or 15 HP, sounds good. Plus, we get to see these dudes for the first time. Nice job with those unraveled so far. But you ain't lived until you fought a raven as big as a house. Though you probably have a lot more holes in you once you do, huh? <laughs> Welly well, you're a shiny new needless, aren't you? Got a quill and everything. Bet you've got quillins to spare too, huh? Well... Be buying or be moving. This place ain't kind to us. I don't have many quillings. Do not have many. Have enough to buy something, though. Um, That's all physical, physical, physical. Our whole build is physical, so of course it offered me garbage. Um, I could roll once and hopefully get something decent. Do it. Well, I'm being hit and flick five stacks of frostbite. I mean, that's not what I want. It's probably something I'm going to replace, too. I mean, I don't mind this on defeating an enemy 25% chance of spawning will. I'm going to take that, though. Fine. Fine. Spend the money. None of, I didn't get anything that I really wanted. I don't know if I trust myself in this... In the hard combat. I don't. Not yet. Hey, a barrier potion. More shields. Can only be used in combat. I'm gonna take it easy on this uh, stream because it's the first one. We don't have everything unlocked, right? So it's these games you're not supposed to beat everything on the first run. 
So I'm going in like tempering my expectations as to what I'm gonna get uh, get done. Um, let me get you. Thank you. I will shield and I will bonk you. Nah, I took out the guy that was going to hit me, so no one's even hit me. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Surviving. I would love to hit you. What about you, though? You look mean. These guys I can avoid. These melee dudes. You? I feel like you're a problem. Oh, I was hoping it would drop me an orb. Hey, it dropped me an orb. Keep bonking. <laughs> Just keep bonking him. You got nothing. Okay, this looks bad. That looks bad. How about I go over here? I'm gonna go over here and grab this, okay? And what if I kill you? That's not so bad. More spiky? Hey, quest completed. The misting bells. Um, you're close to dead. A blam. We're gonna need some damage here. All right, it's gonna take you out, I think. Or maybe you first. If I do. Oh, we'll shield up, it's fine. Two bonks get you? Close. There we go. Hey! This is going a little bit better. I'm not I'm not applying burn, am I? Mm, burn would be nice, but heals are nice. You have no shield, gain two shield? I mean, that sounds good. Also, just maybe doing something that actually... That could be good. I can only put one more augment on this. You know what? Fine, we'll do this. I have no shield, gain two shield. Gain a powerful new binding or ascend. Let's roll. Thanks a lot, everybody, for coming through. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. All the chatters, lurkers, everybody. Create a plant that grow, uh, that grants one will for each turn it's on the ground. This can be really good, I think. Feel a large amount of quillings from an enemy? No, I don't think so. We try this? It'd be good. I remember using it once, but like I don't have like a ton of practice with it. And it's been a long time since I played. Um Of course we could re-roll it. We could re-roll it. 
They eat poison could be good too. Hey, just take poison. Just take poison. Screw it. Just take poison. Yeah, that we have this here, so we can re-roll stuff, but let's 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 not let's not do that yet. Take it easy. Uh heal and spell spend some quillings. That's at the carver again. Within the ruins, your quill senses uh, forgotten power for you to harness. And a free binding augment and purchase another. I don't have enough money. Let's go here. Want of wisdom. Physical power? I think we take physical power. This were a physical build and I hadn't put anything on there yet. So plus 10% damage per point on physical power. Makes sense to Tom. <gasps> boss battle. Our first boss battle, I think. Now, do I take... Do I just go for you, or do I take out your little... Your little buddy. Ooh, this is a crit on it. So this wasn't in the in the demo, was the crits. Every so often you get a chance at a crit. Um, well, I guess we're gonna do that. This makes sense to put the stacks of poison on you. I can take this dude out. I am gonna. Right? That just makes my life a little bit easier. Can I reach you? Thank you. We'll give him a bonk. And then shield up. Oh, you're eating damage like crazy, buddy. You made you made a mistake. You're all, it's almost game over for him already. It's it's close. It's it's so close. Our poison's back up. And we are going to take some damage here if I stay here. I can take you out. No damage. Shield. Oh, you're so close to dead. 10,000 damage. I'm nowhere near that 25k, though. Holy. Hey, there's an orb. Mind if I do. Yeah, he's got some buddies out here with him. This is not good. Get over here. In the big smacks. I'll shield. Smack. And dead? First boss win? So we can ascend, right?
So we're going to be ascending our big smash to demolish or detonate. Um, I think we're going to stick with, I think we're probably going to go this way because I'm not doing magic so much. Deal 408 damage to a single enemy on hitting. Drop a moderate amount of quilling. On defeating an enemy, drop even more quillings. I think we're going to go there. But this is deal 130 damage for each stack of burn to a single... Oh yeah, I don't even have burn really going. So we're going to go here. An epic augment? Wait. I can make this free now? That might be cool. All bindings deal plus 25% damage to enemies inflicted with poison. I think I'm going to take that. Holy crap. Although this could be good. I'm going to do that. Inflicted with poison, a plus 25 on this thing? Woo! All right. The Sea of Ink. First time coming in this far. Hello there. Good luck. Thanks, Bin and Nib. There's stories for you to save or something. Alt of wisdom. Um man, do I want to re-roll this? Kinda. I mean plus ten percent damage. We could just do this. We could just do this. Let's do ability power. We have the Garden's Edge. There we go. That's one of our uh, things that we have to go for, so let's do it. The one's lush respite of a recluse, now overrun with unraveled. Such a beauty of a game. Two hundred bucks. We got two hundred bucks. Underneath the brush, you can make out the remnants of a once well manicured garden that's been lost to time and neglect. The overgrown forest that towers over you now retains some of that stillness, but none of the peace. Only danger and hostility. Um. They want money. Let's, let's take money. So we're, we're slowly creeping up to the damage. <laughs> we're a little ways away still. What do you got? Oh, well, you know what's going to take? We're going to do damage now because this thing takes uh, 1,500 to kill. So there's that. Can I hit you from here? Ooh, I totally can. That's a big boom. Three damage? You know what? That's fine. Hmm, 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 hmm. So you, yeah, you know what, let's just get rid of you. I'm trying to decide where I want to go here. Can't hit anybody from there now. These guys are going to hit me no matter where I go. I got to get used to that. Like they come at you no matter where you go. They're going to deal some magic. No matter where you go, they hit you. It's kind of a pain. I need to get used to that. Hmm. Do I dive in? We do. Big guy is even worth it? I think he still is. Big money. 
Um, this is bad. You're gonna die if I dive out here. Well, we managed to fight our way through that pretty decent, I want to say. Let's get some heals. Definitely a step up, though. We got money to buy heals when we need to. Oh, um, oh, but physical power. Oh, man. We better, we better heal. Yeah, we better heal. I don't like passing up the physical power, but damn. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm a chicken. I need health. <laughs> Grants one additional shield for each turn. A shield wall is not used. Awesome. That sounds not bad. This could be good though. I'm gonna do that. I, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the range on this thing. Hit everybody with it, right? Because this combos nicely with our other stuff. The fact that it's doing, we get plus twenty five percent damage on poisoned enemies. Um, heal and spend some. Yeah, I should have taken physical power. Respite from the Unraveled. This patch of peace is home to the gardener. Let's go here just because it's probably lore related. Shield build's probably a safe, like a pretty safe bet, I bet. I bet, I bet it's a safe bet. The gardener. I said pretty, not poisonous. I understand a single word leaves room for interpretation. Little quill. But do try to focus on the intent of it all. As for you, dear Needless, you may be born quiet, but that does not give you the right to sneak up on an old woman. You do have a quill to chirp for you, after all. Yes, you, little one. It takes a binder and a quill to do anything of note in these worlds, last I checked. You've already got the quill, so I guess that makes you a binder, Needless. Able to channel the ink to write whatever you desire, or so they say. There's our first visit with her. What else do we got here? Just piles of money? Take the monies out of the books? I've seen a few people complain that this is they didn't want this to be a live service game. I'm kind of hyped that it is. Um, yeah, like, if you were heavy shielding, heavy shielding with heavy spike could be insane. Like, when below 50% HP, you just get four shielding. Like, that's, that's not insanely bad. But what is this, right? More crit damage. On your turn, all movement bindings gain full cost discount. Wait. Reduces the will cost of binding until used or the end of turn. That sounds good. I mean, it is an epic one. On combat in, this vestige gains plus one ability power. If you have full HP, it gains an additional... Oh, wow, that sounds good, too. Like, every single combat end, it gains one ability power? Because that could be insanely strong. I mean, I don't I don't expect to have full HP, but, like, that could be, that could be really good. I'm gonna try that. That sounds that sounds like it could be really good, right? If we're gain if every single fight we gain one ability power with a potential for two, but I mean like I mean let, let's be honest here. I'm not gonna be crushing guys that bad. I'd love to do this. A rare augment would be nice. But I could die. Let's play it safe. Play it safe, see how far we can push it. Gonna get a potion? Disintegration oil. X and shatter on all enemies. Once I get more more comfortable, I'll uh 
You know what? Let's do it right out of the gate. X and Shatter on y'all. Why the hell not? Um. I jump over to you? Might as well. It's going to cost me one to get there anyway. Shield. Could have hit the poison, but I'll, I'll shield. A lot of enemies in here. I, this means I'm dead? That's what that's saying to me right now. It's saying Tom is dead. If something drastic doesn't change right now. That's not good. Tom's not quite dead. But darn close. You're going to die from poison. Run. <laughs> Just run away. Can I get away? Everybody's going to hit me so hard. Why are you going to be like that? Too many of them. There's too many of them. Look at that. Ridiculous. Can't even move. I'm, I'm like... I'm pet oh, oh, I need to go here. I need to go there. Ah, I get there. Big bonk. Get big bonked. Also bonked. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. So close. We did good, though. We did good, kid. That was a tough fight. That was a big step up. Like, that, that got out of hand quick. All right. But that was by far the best run we've had. That was only our second second attempt. That was pretty good. We unlocked some stuff. Your journey ended in the Garden's Edge. Yeah, we have lots to do. Lots to do. What do you got for me? You and your quill seem to be getting along. Uh, sorry, was that too forward? I never really had much of a filter, I've been told. At least have one too. A quill, I mean. Sin always flying right beside me. I always ready to offer a feather when I forgot a quill. A quill. A lot of quills, that one. Ha 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 ha. I had to put in daily quests. Way to go. Way to go, devs. Now I'm going to be playing your game all the damn time. I haven't talked to you yet. Birdie says you shouldn't talk to strangers. Just had that talk with my kids today. You lean over the edge of the well and gaze into the endless void. Your view begins to dull. The void blurring the edges of your vision. The noise of the Athenian then fades into silence as the void envelops you in its all-encompassing nothingness. Then the sound of waves crashing against a hard surface. My quill's like, oh shit! <laughs> the chirp from your quill snaps you back to reality, just as you are about to fall head oh, first shit. into the deep. Going in the deep! You take a step back, the darkness relegated to the confines of the well, but you can still hear the sound of waves faintly crashing. I like that. That was fun playing with this guy. I'm going to keep playing with this character. I actually enjoyed it more than I enjoyed my, my first run with the uh, the Weaver or whatever. Well, Needless, I do hope you've been treating the bindery with respect it deserves. Without it, the Athenium would truly be lost to the sea. Thus, the Impound's duty in protecting it. 
empty pool behind me, the repository shares equal importance to our survival. It is the receptacle for returning our lost ink and feeds into the bindery. And to sustain the life of the stories anchored in it. Tell you all this needless, not out of some sense of bindery camaraderie, but for the sole purpose of your understanding the consequences should you decide to tamper with artifacts beyond your comprehension. Still won't let me even look at it. You got to say. Ah, I'm sorry. There I was, going on about forms and aspects, and you likely have no ink and clue what they are. Well, your form is your look, of course. You look great already, I'll admit. Thanks, but stigmatist. I never wanted to mix things up. Aspects, though, they're the real thrillers, distilled essences of lost binders. You might not be able to create new bindings on your own, Needless, but these aspects will give you a class of bindings uniquely suited to whatever dangers you're facing. I know it's a bit hard to understand just by talking about Yep, you. sure is. So go ahead and take a peek at that aspect apparatus and reform enclosure over there. All right. I mean, that's all it is, right? It's just changing your, your character. And this is like changing how they all look, right? Big red afro. Got a great big red afro. Lots of potential, right? Lots of power too, in the right hands. Now, I can't just go inscribing new aspects on just anyone, even if I did have them. Got to know they can handle it first. So if you can show me you're worth the ink, I'll make sure those aspects are right and ready. Well, that attitude sure is a good start, but you'll be needing to prove it to more than just me. Go on. See if you can wrangle those missing aspects from the others. Now, what's going on over here? We got even more stuff unlocked. Call the Tinker. If you need something tinkered with, let me know. Since I know you don't, leave me alone. <laughs> Call the Spooler. That's kind of funny. Oh, it was wonderful to be back here. It's been too long since we've smelled fresh ink and musty parchment, eh, brother? Oh, he's quite one. He's a quiet one, isn't he? Means I'm left to run my mouth, but I'm not complaining. Oh, ho, ho. Well, I assume it's all the bright little baubles that brought you over here, over, eh? Can't say I blame you, though. It's kind of the point, ho. Oh. <laughs> Juggling the spooler. All right, I think we covered everything in here for the moment. I think. Methinks. You approach the inkbound study, but know better than to attempt any contact with the supposed savior from behind the solid doors. That doesn't stop you from listening for any activity, however, for any sign of salvation or progress towards it. The silence is deafening. Yeah, we're working our way through it. Well, let's do another run. I think ranked is just harder, right? We'll do a ranked dive just for fun, but I don't think I'm going to, like, you know, I don't expect to win. I have, I have low expectations of myself on day one. Book mutators have been added, right. What the hell? I'm sorry, little Quill. I can't understand your letterings. But given that determined expression on your binder's face, I imagine you're looking for aspects. 
The clairvoyant is the only one I've encountered in my wanderings, and even she has been missing for some time. The book she last called home has become, well, a cesspool of darkness and villainy. But that does not mean all is lost. I'd wager the best place to start looking in is the silent promenade. Gain access to the aspect of the clairvoyant. So that's a new character, right? So in the demo, we only had three classes. There's already five available in here. We just have to unlock two of them, I think. I have a friend there. Uh, um, Quill of some power. Find Ohm, and they'll set you on your way. Okay. Okay. Fully augment three bindings. Apply spiked or dodge attack 50 times. I think I can do that, probably. I think 750 Quillings is totally doable, though. I'm doing that. I can totally do. I can totally spend 750 quillings. I can spend money, like the bet, like the bet, like I, I'm so good at spending. On your first turn, gain 10 stacks of spite. I mean, that could be good. Lease of gold on gaining shield, gain one stack of shattered will. Shattered will, 10 stacks, gain one will. Hmm. On turn, restore one HP. We just unlocked this. I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but HP is HP, right? HP is HP. Damage is damage. I kind of like the spike build. I like the idea of it anyway. In my mind brain, I think it sounds fun. Putting more damage on the jump sounds fun. Right? Making it making it hit a little bit harder on those little squishy dudes. Uh, if we go Garden's Edge, that knocks out one challenge. Probably the way to go. Uh, Never-ending story. Enemies have... Uh, res wait. Enemies restore 15% of their missing HP each turn. Uh, well, you know... That's the way I'm going, because I want to complete that mission. Eat a fish in the Garden's Edge. Unstable Brew. Gain 15 ability power until end of turn. On your next turn, lose 15 ability power? Wow, that sounds, that sounds very unstable, doesn't it? Cage because we gotta spend money. We gotta make money to spend money. I don't want to just use it now. <laughs> just use it. 137 damage on the jump. Get wrecked. Now we have no power, right? Like, we'll do, like, no damage, basically. Oh, we're still doing a bit. Do I smash? Some mash. Smash. There. Take that. I love my fro. You got nothing. You got nothing. Spike damage? It's old. Right? More damage on the jump?
more damage on the jump. <laughs> there, now it's doing 75. Because I felt like if I had had that stronger in the last run, we would have it would have been a lot. It would have been a lot easier to get around and do things. Um, I think this is definitely a, an easy one to do. Shield just makes sense with this build. And we've already been stacking spikes, so let's just keep on going spiky. Arnish Vault, Killing Cage. Let's go back to the cage. Get another cage. I need a fish. Someone, someone, you know, someone somewhere give me a fish. Any fishes around here? Anybody see a fish? A book, a pile of books. Well, let's get like, uh, you know, right in their business. You're dead. So there's that. Guess I shouldn't have used the shield. What's this? Secret of the Ooze? Oh, I guess I haven't been standing in it before. The purple goop is blight. It deals uh, unpreventable damage to you when you take an action at the end of your turn. In it? Oh. You get out of the goop. Basically is what you're telling me, game. Yeah, I'm out of the goop. I'm out of the goop, man. Yeah, take an action or end turn now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, now we know. Don't take an action when you're in the goop, man. There we go. We got a new vestige unlocked. Um, what if I take you out? Actually, what if I take you out? What if, right? That's not bad. We haven't lost a ton of health. That's like an easy, easy amount to heal up. both two for one hey there we go we got lots of money now poison damage we aren't really on a poison build are we um let's restore our hp let's do it i'll play it safe for now me the augment if you have no shield gain some shield Now what do we got? Free binding augment, capability to purchase another. You could do that, or we could go to the gardener again. Heal. Um, no, you know, let's go here. Two hundred fifty bucks to buy another one. We can do that. We're here to spend money, right? Um, I did like this. 10% chance to spawn an orb. I do like that. So we're going to spend our 250. Ooh, look at that. Another 120 damage on this thing? Double the damage? Or just make the leap stupid strong. Dense leap? <laughs> the leap would be, that would be pretty sick, wouldn't it? The leap would be it would be finished. That would be that would be the last augment for it. But holy crap, it would hit for a hundred and 
35 in an area. You know what? Let's try it. In some in some fights, you're hitting like you can hit like five guys in one one little area. Do we do we gamble it? I kind of want to gamble it early and see if we can beat a hard combat. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know what a glyph globule is. What's it? Let's find out what a glyph. Let's see if we can beat this and see if we can find out what a glyph glyph globule is. Um, I mean, Leap Strike takes these guys out, right? Literally kills these dudes. Can't complain about that. I'll give him a bop, because why the hell not? Now what are we dealing with this? We got like multiple dudes doing that? That's not ideal, is it? I think when I get my jump up again, I'll pop this potion. Jumps up. He dodged it? I forgot there's a dodge token. Start of each turn causing it to dodge first attack. You suck. Well, I took out the little dude that was beside him. I forgot about all the different stuff like phasing you know like that's one of the most annoying ones is when they have that right damn that looks like it's gonna hurt let's move out of that Give him a little tap. Little, little, little tap. I'll give you a finish you off. The hell's hitting me here? Nothing. Nothing's going to hit me. What's this ability do that he's doing right now? This enemy has phase shifted and will dodge the next attack. Okay. I see they're in phase right now. So like no matter even if I do an ability right now, they're just going to just going to ignore me. What if I... Well, I bop you anyway. I don't want to bop you. I want to bop you. Get rid of your phase. There we go. We got rid of your phase. Now you get phased at the beginning of every, every round, though. Right? So I have to be aware of that. Let's focus this guy down here. I'll swing this thing. Right? So he's going to dodge that. Then we're going to try and hit him with a big one. Hit him with the big one. Take another one up. Shield. I'm in trouble. <laughs> we're fighting in a phone booth now. This is not good. I think I need to kill you. I think I need you dead. Like now. 
You do not hit hard enough. You do, though. Big smash. There, got rid of the stupid phase thing again. You can have it every round. I don't care. Here's my big here's my big jump. No, we don't want to use big jump. Can I swing this from here? Ah, I'm just just out. Oop, there goes your phase. Now if I jump on you, pick this up, hit you with the big hammer. Is that gonna be enough? We'll find out. No, it is not. Well, it might be. I don't know. Math doesn't seem to work. Big damage, though. I can move out of this, though, and not take any damage myself. If I hit him, I'm, I'm taking damage. Um, Hit with the hammer and walk away. From that nonsense. There. Now we can do a jump. I don't know, we'll do this. We'll, we'll just... Whack. Whack. Pick up. There we go. What's a glyph do? What's a glyph glob do? Oh, it gives you those things that I have no idea what I do with. Uh, grants one additional shield for each turn. Shield wall is not used. Lost at the end of combat, we take. The Binding Tuner. Um... 20 damage in a cone. I do like the poison. Like, even if you don't lean heavily into poison, it's so strong. I mean, you could do that. Plus four healing to an ally. Good try it. Could try healing. It's not, well, I mean, like, let's... I mean, like, I have never taken it, so let's take it and see... Like, it might get some insane augments. Right? Like, I mean, like, it doesn't sound sexy at the, at the beginning, but, I mean, like, with certain augments, it might be insane. Barrier potion? Get some shield? Uh, Rift in the story creates an uh, opportunity to make a powerful choice. Mm. Heal. Spend some hard-earned quillings. I don't have that much money. Go here. I think we do ability power. I mean, I could re-roll. I have the ability. I have... I have... Five of these, right? That's what we just got. I might be able to get something insanely good. But ability power isn't bad. That's what I would take. Just for fun. Tempting, tempting, tempting. You said we were going spiked, so let's go spiked. Right? More spiky? Twenty physical damage per stack of spiked. I think that's worth it.
Yeah, if we get hit in the early in the early stage of the fight, right? We 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 get like massive damage. It'll take care of the minions like super easy. These guys are annoying. That's what these guys actually kind of wipe me out my first run because like they they just chase you down. But, like we we like immediately shield wall, right? Shield wall that. Right? These guys are going to die probably. I don't have to let them hit me though. That's the thing. I can just jump on them and end their day. Wait, what if I heal? What if I heal though, eh? Oh, he just throws out the little dudes. He just threw them out. Okay, I didn't know what he was doing. He just tosses out these little bit guys. All right, well, how about I hit you with the big thing? Didn't like that, did you? What do we have here? More shield? Okay. Oh, there's a little guy right there. I didn't even see him. I'm going to take like a tiny, tiny bit of damage here. He didn't throw dudes out that time. He's actually going to attack this time? What a guy. Bonk. Slowly chipping away at him. Yeah, every time we every time we kill something, yeah, he gains a little something. So we'll just slowly poke away at the guy. I could do this, gain some shield. We'll see. see if we need it. We got our heal back. This is too good to not do it, so we're gonna do it. He's almost half dead. Right? He's almost he is almost half dead. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'll, I'll shield. Look at that. Level up. Woo, we're at level two. No damage for you, bud. Way. This guy's just like tanky as hell. Now what? Now a phase shift. Immune to bindings and damage until next turn. Oh. Aren't you lame? Fine, I'll heal then. Easy choice. I know I'm giving him damage when he hits me here, but whatever. I'm 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 hitting him. worth it he's almost dead healed again we're 
We're just like barely scratching him with this, but eh, you know what? It's fine. He's almost done. Don't die on you. I seem to be. I, I think I'll be able to beat this dude, and then we'll. Uh, I'll probably hit a wall in the next fight. I didn't see that there. I hit a wall after this area, probably. Give him the big bonk. Healed up. No damage for you, bro. Our power is getting growing stronger by the minute. Boss done. Another level up. Get out of here. Defeat Nim the Lost in the Garden's Edge. Let's go. Look at all these things popping up. All right, now. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Here we go. We get to see. Do we ascend our heal? Five HP on being hit. Reduce cooldown of quick mend by one. Or do I re-roll this for two and try and change one of my main ones? I think I'm going to re-roll this. But this is cool to see these ascensions. All right. We'll see you later, Shiro. Restore two HP to an ally. Grant an ally a stack of regen, which restores two HP at the turn, at start of turn up to five stacks. Huh. They're pretty cool. But I really want to send one of my big damage dealers. Or maybe even the shield. So reroll. Now I don't want to lose my... I don't want to lose my stacks of spike. Consume all remaining will. Gain 10 shields for each will consumed oh wow that's interesting but gain resistant what's this plus 25 physical damage resist lost the turn start so it basically gives you fortify interesting interesting we're gonna roll it again i want one of my main damage dealers i think because i don't really know if i want this Although, this could give you an insane amount of shields. Right? If you had, like, a turn where you didn't have to do much, you could do, like, a crazy amount of shields. So, that might be interesting. We're going to re-roll it again. Deal 35 damage after mining an enemy... Wait. After mining an enemy twice, gain small amount of quillings and a 25% chance to spawn an orb. I mean, we already got a 10% chance. Gain one stack of heat. Gain one ability power per stack. Ooh. On five stacks, gain three shield. On turn end, or using a binding without damaging an enemy, lose all stacks. That sounds fun. We'll take that. We'll take the thwack. Turn the bonk into a thwack. Whenever you lose HP, reduce cooldown of shield wall by one. Kind of like this being cheaper. By whopping bonk. Kind of like this being cheaper. Old. Back into the Sea of Ink. You didn't take much damage there for a boss fight. Needless. Needless. We've waited so long for you. While you've been off saving the world, we've been making a list of things for you to do. Things for me to do. Yes, it's all very exciting. But we really can't understate the importance of these tasks. Meet some, defeat others. Just follow these tasks and you'll be on your way. What do we got? The Clepsidranium. On your turn, reduce all cooldowns by one. Plus five magic. To what, though? We don't really know. If you truly are something to the ink, 
these should be of little effort to you, Needless, and perhaps some purpose may make itself known in the process. Cool. Oh, fishing spot. The prickly puffer. Um, I don't have the thing to re-roll. I'm gonna say burn damage. I spent all my rerolls checking things out. It is what it is. On turn N, enemies gain an attack boost. Villains and Guardians, 25% max HP, shield, and deal plus 25% damage when brought to half. On turn start, gain passivism, lowering ability power, physical power, magic power by one. On every turn? Wow, that sounds rough. Um, I'm going to do Radiant Market. I haven't been here yet. A once vibrant market serving binders throughout the ages, now reduced to rubble and ruin. The feats of the Athenium are plain to see, grand in design, but vain in construct. I'm having so much fun with this game. This is like so, so good. Um. Do I want the Quillings? I'm nowhere near spending 500 still. Holy crap. No, we'll go here. Look around. These guys were such a pain. I remember in the demo, they used to kick my ass. Um, What's this do? I'm being hit 50% chance to inflict hex. 50% chance to inflict shattered. We're just going to take it. And I don't want to jump in on you guys. That's not enough to kill you, eh? What about a bonk? What about a big, what about a big smash? And another bonk. What is this? Glass cannon deals 50% increased damage or takes increased 50. Oh, okay, that's fine. Get wiped. Get wiped right the hell out, bud. Level up. Um, get the heck out of that. Shield. Another one of those. Wasn't that wonderful. Right, we'll take care of all the little dudes that we can. Right away. Now, if I hit you, you turn, don't you? Oh, maybe they changed that. They used to turn if you smacked them. Um. Yeah, those bro, those bros are tanky bros. We're gonna have to use our heal next. You gotta die. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very heavy damage here. That's for sure. All right, now we can just uh, focus on. Get some health back. I take care of these dudes now. They're they're stupid tanky. Um. Oh boy. I 
I'm not gonna be able to kill them? In time? Oh, I can't be in there. Shit. That's not good. I'm standing in there, I take damage in the thing. Okay, now you're in my spot. I can at least hit you guys here. I hit you both. Yes. One little piggy. Dodge, dodge, dodge. <laughs> I can jump out and hit and run away like a little wimp. Heal. And they're gonna saunter back in ever so slowly. One pig done. Can I get you from there? Nice. We'll have to do the same type of thing here. Jump out and hit. And run away. <laughs> Not going to be enough. Gonna have to eat a little bit of this damage. Why I healed there, I have no idea. I, I've got to thwack you. All right, so we, I, I think I know what I need. Um, <laughs> I think I need some more damage. Uh, first turn, gain 10 stacks of spiked. And that might be okay. On those guys, that would've been great. I'm gonna take this. We got two of those bones. Heal? Nah. Physical power? Yeah. Um, cooldown on that? Could be good. I'll go for the crit chance. I'm gonna go cooldown on my shield. Quickened wall. Now what do we have? Uh, the study, overflowing study of, chron oh, of the Chronicler and his quill list. We haven't been there yet. Let's do that. Liss, hurry up and look presentable. One of the silent wonders is here. Hello there, Needless. What an honor this must be for you to finally meet the genius, the legendary, the once-in-a-lifetime intellect, the chronicler, and his quill companion, Liss. Nothing? Quickest counselor of the Third Age, fabled author of a thousand tomes, binder of the brightest... Sliver of creation. Uh, what do they teach up there anymore? I want this chat gone. I want it gone. <laughs> it drives me nuts. That'll be the first thing I figure out after I get off stream today is how to turn that damn chat off. Um, On consuming an item in combat, this vestige gains... I mean, that's not the worst thing. Being hit, gain one will on next turn. I'm gonna take you. Play it easy? Take it easy, because I haven't been past this, uh... I haven't been past the second... Second area. I haven't managed it.
You. I don't care about this. Now I can do some decent damage there. But we take. Kill. One dead. Start bopping. Do I heal? You know what? Let's heal. Another one of them. Oh, man. Bop, bop. Double kill. The hell out of the goo. Holy crap, dude. I am going to die here again. This is a tough, 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 tough thing. Um... run yeah. I did ran away dive right into the thick of it yeah now run the hell out you don't want any part of that nonsense you're not about that life Take the big ones for them. Yield. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage, that's fine. He died when he touched me, that's great. Can't stay in there, because we'll we'll take damage in the muck. Right, so we gotta move. Heal. Maka. It's gonna be us fighting these rhinos in the in the goo again. Basically, that's how it's gonna play out. Oh shit. Um Mac, I could shield. Take some damage. Do it. He'll take damage too, though, if he hits me. Right? Okay, move the hell out of that. Oh, um, now he's got an. Is he doing an area attack? Oh, no. That's not good. You're doing an area like oh damn it. Damn it. Big. Just die. You're not gonna die. You're super close to dead though. I didn't even know they had that attack. Well we definitely heal. Kinda wish I had of um Changed my healing thing to make it even more powerful, but it is what it is. Now we're gonna get it on the side and hit it with the big bop. Now nah, I don't want to land in the goo. We'll use our dive after this turn.
I want to work. I want you to go. I want you to dive there. There. Beauty. Um, on using physical binding, gain one shield twice per turn. I mean, that sounds just damn good. For stacking shield. Uh, this comes with more physical power. On your first turn, if you are above half HP, gain three physical power until the end of combat. That could be really good. I'm going to take it. Do I really want to heal here or take the physical power? Take the physical power. Going crazy here. Hey, what's going on, Mumbles? And Branded. This is Tim Tam. Cool down on this, maybe. Although, uh, that's tempting as well. Do cool down on the heal. Gain a powerful new binding and ascend. How are you guys doing? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. I don't have the things to roll this, so this is what we're stuck with. Is what it is, but it's going to be nice either way. 400 damage on hitting, drop a moderate amount. Detonate. Yeah, we do this because I don't even have burn stacks. Doing good. It's lunchtime. Nice. I haven't been, I haven't day streamed in a long time, but I really uh, was looking forward to this game, so I had to. Like in my contract. Uh, within the ruins, your quill senses forgotten power uh, for you to harness. What's this? Welcome back, Shiro. Uh, gain free binding. Uh, da, 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 da. Heal. You know what? Let's go here. Go to the carver. Ooh, week off. I'm doing all right. I'm starting to feel better. I was sick for like a week. I didn't take one. I rolled a bunch, right? And take a heal upgrade. I took this instead. I got thwack. I wanted to check them out. And then I probably felt like I should have taken the other thing, but it's fine. Um, do I just take this again? Do I get my third stack of these? Oh, yeah, I put a cooldown on the heal. I have two of these. I could take a third one. Or spikies. The carver had to say. Who the hell are you? You might be fresh, Quill, but you best be learning some proper social graces if you mean to be ordering others around. But I know where your obelisk is. Been carving long enough to see all those aspects. But that information's gonna cost you. I got something worth doing by someone with your specific propensity for discretion. Just a couple little errands and a couple little books. You're in and you're out. Yeah, so I have to not be like super evasive in the first uh in the first one. I have to make sure I use my shield wall and let them actually hit me so they take damage. I've been running away and not letting them hit me, and, and I might as well let them hit me in turn one and just kill everything. You gotta keep playing it safe though, because I haven't been this far, so let's just go let's not do the hard fight. Is it I, I it's like a force of habit that I always want to like run away from it. Started playing cassette piece this morning. Yeah, I uh I've I've looked at cassette piece a couple times.
Certainly not five. I gotta jump on these dudes. Give you the thwack. Maybe overkill, I don't care. There we go. Yeah, that guy took 2200 damage. Twenty two hundred damage. I guess you do have to actually kill these pots, eh? Hmm, how do I want to do this? Do I heal first? Heal first. I'm in the stupid goo. Oh, that's annoying. Shit. Here. So you just die already. You're not gonna die. Who am I kidding? We're gonna end up dying on this fight. That's what's gonna happen. If we do, don't do something here uh, in the short term, we're in big, big troubles. That's fine. Now we just got these stupid pots to deal with. And they're 1,800 health. <laughs> That's not ideal. And they're 1,800 frickin' health. How about I do this? <laughs> 486 damage on the leap. Not gonna kill them, but it's, it's gonna hurt them. It's gonna hurt them bad. Okay, it did... It did, did a lot of damage. It did a lot of the damage. I need to get out of the goo. And here. Ish. That's one pot for Tom. I'm gonna heal every time, I don't care. Let me jump right there. Thank you. How much HP do you have? Two? Um. Give you the good whack. Healed up a bit. We're in trouble. Let's keep thwacking them. I didn't die. Hallelujah. We're not healthy. Uh, we're going to heal. We're not in good shape, but... We didn't die. This is by far the furthest I've been so far today. Cool down, down.
cooldown down or just even more smash more smash more smash more smash the mega smash yeah so legit the first thing i'm doing is figuring out how the hell to turn the stupid chat off it's <laughs> the so first thing i'm gonna like troubleshoot after the stream is like getting rid of this chat permanently um heal i think so as much as i'd love to go here There we go. We're back up on our health. What do we have here? Can we buy? Um, I'm using physical binding. Gain one shield twice per turn. That sounds like easy buy. I roll this i can only afford a cheapy i already have one of these I, I need items to consume that's the problem right i already have one of these that's the thing like i could buy it but maybe i roll it and i get like another one of these who knows right roll you know what fine i'll buy this fine Yeah, so it come, I think it comes with plus two out of the gate, and then when you when you if you use an item, I think it gives another two. I don't know. Let's look at our stats. I don't see anything else that's giving me more power, so I think that's it. Back already? Guess that unbound is losing their touch. Oh, did a new name for you? Well, ink's out of the pen now, needless. Your big bad's got a name. <laughs> and a pretty stupid one at that. Well, be buying or be moving, needless. Got enough to do without... Oh, boss on. battle. Well, I'll let myself get hit, potentially. I'd love to get an item. I'd love to have an item. So when the, during the demo, there was like uh, so many items to consume. And now I feel like there's no items. Like I'm running around with two item slots and they're empty all the time. What is this flashing for? Oh, this story begins. This, oh, it's like cosmetics. There's like a season pass and shit that you can buy. Right. Yeah, I'm not made of money. I ain't made of money. You rhinos. The problem with letting the rhinos hit me is the rhin uh, like, I mean, they'll die. They'll die. But they hit damn hard. But is it worth it to let the rhinos just hit me? They'll die if they do. Right, we have 32 stacks of spiked. But they they hit me damn hard. Um, but it might be worth it. It might be worth it to just let them hit me. They will die. Wait, I can't even hit the boss, right? He's got this thing. For stack, loses one stack when an ally dies. Right, so let's heal. Forgot about that. So I can't even I, I I he you can't even hit him until his allies die. So let's let his allies all die right now. There, now he has no stacks of that crap. Hey, 
able to get out of his stupid attack range. Not fully, eh? What it is. Now what do you got on me? Soul Shackle. Shackle to the captor, weakening the soul, your soul. All incoming damage is increased by 25% per stack. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to dive on your damn head is what I'm going to do. He's got Frostbite on him now, right? Being hit with a binding, deal 25 magic damage, lose one stack. So he's like taking damage. I think he gets a, when we hit that, it's going to be like a turn slow down. Um, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, it goes into phase shift. Now he's got his, he gets his HP back a bit, right? Is there an orb on him? There is an orb on him. Now here's the problem is we've got more of these dudes now and I have to kill them. I have to kill the little guys before. I have to kill everything else first, right? And I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be in trouble. I have to wipe out all of these pretty much so that he'll take damage. Steam forms are spicy. Why do, are people saying get rid of them? I feel like they have no place in the game myself. I know you want it to be a live service game, but let me turn it off. For the love of God, let me turn the chat off. This is going to be tough. But I'm of the opinion that that type of chat has never, like, it's never, it's never benefited me in any way, shape, or form in any game. I'm going to be in trouble with this shackled crap. I don't think there's much I can do here. I think I'm in, I, I think I'm just in deep, deep trouble. Oh, jeez. Give a shit about that. Like, I'm, I, I just said I'm not made of money. Like, you don't have to spend the money, right? Like, holy crap, it's a good game. If you don't want to spend money on cosmetics and shit, don't spend money on cosmetics and shit. Otherwise, just shut up and quit whining about it. <laughs> but I want everything for free. I want to pay $20 for a live service game, and then I want them to continuously support the game forever, and I never want to pay them another dime for anything. Yeah, okay, well, then I guess they should have charged, like, $100 for their game, then. <laughs> I'm dead, by the way. There's literally, like, nothing that I can do. I'm just, like, gonna take a shit ton of damage. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a ton of damage. That's what's gonna happen here. Yep. What is even gonna kill... What is killing me? This? You're gonna kill me? Oh, I can't help it. I just didn't have the damage. I guess this is Soul Shackle. No, I can't shield. I moved. Because if I shielded there, I was going to take damage in there, too. So I can't shield. But we're dead. That soul shackle killed me. That was a good run, though, considering we still have, like, barely unlocked anything. Yeah, like, I don't think we could have survived that no matter what. We were taking way too much damage. There's going to be a lot of balancing that needs to be done in the game, too. But we leveled up, like, a ton there on the season, anyway, if you, if you give a crap about that stuff. Live service is an interesting business model. It either works or it burns out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this like, that could flop terribly, right? It could be a terrible business idea. I don't know. It doesn't bother me, right? I, I, I just looked at it and was like, oh, what's this, right? Like, I mean... 
if I cared, I mean, like, fine, right? You know, like, uh, I mean, like, if you care about having all this stuff, what? I don't know. Like, I don't care about having that, right? I don't, I don't personally care. Like, I, cosmetics are fine, whatever, right? But, like, I don't care about having, let's just call it what it is, like, Fortnite-y type stuff in my game. I don't, I don't personally gain anything from that. And one thing that is, um, that I feel like, that one thing that I do think, if you want to talk about, like, this type of thing in a game with a season pass, that I do think you should do, and I don't know if they do or not, it does, it has shinies in here, so I guess that's what you spend to buy it, is whatever it costs, whatever it costs to buy the season pass once, they should have enough of the currency built into one season pass purchase to purchase the next one if you want right without spending additional money that's how it should be like to be like without really seeming like it's a massive cash grab but whatever right i mean i knew that the season stuff was in here during the during the demo because it was like it was like plain as day that it was in there, right? And it was a known to be a live service game. So, yeah, like I mean, like um, I played Fortnite one day. Like I, I fired up Fortnite with some friends or whatever, and like I didn't even I didn't pay a dime, but like I just played through until I unlocked enough stuff so that I could buy the season pass with with what I'd earned. Right? Like it's not a big deal, but like you know, I can see people being compla complaining about it or whatever. I'm more pissed off that they have this in the game. I, I don't have any use for this. I guess you can go party, right? Party? Party. Maybe that's what you do. Right? Go party chat or whatever. Yeah. And then it's just going to sit there. So that's what I got to do every time. Because I don't I don't need to see what um, John Mc, Johnny McAwesome has to say. I don't... I. Sorry, Johnny. I. You know, I'm sure you're a nice... I'm sure you're a nice Johnny, but I don't care what, you, what you've got to say in the chat. Ah, leave me alone, you're fa you faceless creep. Oh, it's just you. Sorry, hi. Mm, so, uh, yeah, not quite used to you yet. Or this, or anything really, you know. Oh, I guess you can't talk. Part of the whole no face thing. Ah, probably shouldn't laugh at that. But even a needless like you has, a, has to feel a little out of place, right? Especially since you shouldn't be here in the first place. Did we beat any of this? I think we did, right? Yeah, we crushed a couple of those daily quests. Did that, right? We did that. Anything else going on in here that we need to look at? Look at this. Can I look at this now? You place the ink you've collected in the garden's edge into the empty repository, and as soon as the ink hits the bowl, it is drained dry again. Interesting. Hmm. The garden's edge is just slightly less. So we unlock Nim's Oath? On hitting, inflict dazed. That's okay. That that would be really good. Well, go on then, needless. Don't you have other tasks to which you must attend? Surely you aren't expecting more recognition from me. Then he just said, you know, get effed. <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> you scarcely know the meaning of the word quill. The Spooner requested your help. Perhaps that bumbling clown will show you more of the gratitude you seem to be missing. Yeah, I remember back when I used to think that season passes and stuff were bad, but I mean, at the end of the day, if it's like, you pay $20 for the game, and if they need that so that they can keep your, like, keep supporting your game endlessly or like whatever, it's like, okay, well, fine, right? Wandered into the radiant market, eh? <laughs> Can't say there's too much brightness. Now, in that what what maybe is a little bit off-putting is that it's early access and it's got a season pass. That might be a little bit, yeah. But whatever, right? Whatever. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Still, it's just like I I could see that irking some people. <laughs> More ghosts than stories left there. I'd wager. 
Though I guess there's not much difference. <laughs> Either way, best to keep your wits about you while you're there, Needless. Some of these books are better left fading to ink, and that market could fade a bit faster, if you catch my meaning. Anything else to click on or check out here? That was a ranked run, too. I think if we hadn't have done a ranked run, we probably would have won that. You're causing quite the stir in here, Needless. Haven't seen this much commotion since the Inkbound decided to shut themselves in. Man, you should have seen old Greybeard. He went all first age on everyone. Silent but brutal. This is the first time well, talking to Sundance. Some call me the Troubadour, but my friends call me Sundance. You can call me either, depending on how you're feeling about me at the time. Got the name since folks like to hear me play music from time to time. Been a bit hard to do without my old girl Petunia, though. You find her lying around, you bring her straight back, you hear? Oh, we gotta find Petunia. That's the new trend. I dislike early access anyway, but add cash shop, DLC, season pass on top. I really dislike it. I just want games to release done at least 1.0 level done. I mean, for me, I feel like this game is like way more polished than a typical game that is in a 0 0.10. <laughs> like that's what this is called. And it's like way better than the, like a lot of games that release in 1.0 in, in indie. But yeah, like, I, you know, that's I, I, I can see if people are specifically making that complaint. I'm just looking for people to talk to. Uh, if you're making that specific complaint, I, I can see that being a valid thing, you know. That it's like, you know, holy shit, the game just came out and it's already got a cash shop and and it's like it's like in like the earliest stage of development kind of thing, like for people to play. <laughs> I still don't it doesn't bother me. Bumbling clown, eh? Ho ho. Well, he's not wrong. As for the lost ink, well, you've come to the right person. I may not have may not have exactly what you're looking for, but I have something even better. Directions. Ooh. The radiant market and the silent promenade are coming apart at the seams. Ho ho. Maybe you can help sew them back up. As for getting ink back that ink, the reclamation process is one of the passive variety. Basically, you do good for the story, and the story does good for you. Cool. I think we touched up on everything there. We didn't get a win here, but, like, I mean, we got we got to the second boss. Each run, we got a little bit stronger. I'm going to call it a stream, though, guys. This was a lot of fun. This was my first time playing the game in early access. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I think it's a great game. I'm going to play, play a lot of this. Especially now that I figured out how to get rid of that chat. Seen your cat poop? That's that's my favorite part about having like that's my favorite part. If you were to ask me, Tom, what's your favorite part about having like a game that has like some MMO style stuff? Seeing people's stupid names. That's my favorite part. Like my name, Tom versus every tang. Because I was I, I couldn't fit every letter. I could only fit I can only put every thin or every tang. <laughs> but yeah, don't be boring. Be like senior cat poop, right? Mmm, that gravy. Like, you could sit here all day and just look at names. And you might see some pretty ridiculous names, right? Or boring ones like Vitor. But anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Hero, Branded, everybody else that came through. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.